Hello, everybody. And, uh, there's a, another comic to this. And I have read it before, but I've actually only done it with the uh, volume down, and I think there's volume to it. So, and I haven't seen it in a while. So, I guess we'll just give this another go through, shall we? Uh, ah. The story is based on true eyewitness accounts. See, now that just makes it about like a thousand times more scarier already. It was around 11.20 at night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night studying session at school. But there is no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people. Even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eye, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who, was, who there was, and saw a woman walking in front of me. But she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since I was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints to her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. <laughs> okay, it kind of messed up on <laughs> the sound, but still. <laughs> you know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. <laughs> I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where's my baby? <laughs> my thoughts were racing at her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Over there. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around to leave the apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where she, there would be people around. At that moment, she's not here. I heard her scream from far away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's scroll off the page as I reach for my mouse again. <laughs> I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed down on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex at Bong Shong Dong. <laughs> a 33 year old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. <laughs> Known as Sir <laughs> Named Cho, a divorcee due to her extra marital affair, she lost her custody of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide after that incident. Cho had been walking around that apartment complex several times after that incident. Cho had been walking around that apartment complex. <laughs> Several times. Uh, why did it do it twice? I don't know. Okay, you know what? We're gonna call that again. We're gonna go to, uh, yeah. Just, I would think I'm more prepared for it, but I didn't know there was sound before. Instead, uh, uh, I seriously just backed as far as I could from the computer in my chair. Let go of the mouse, everything. Just tried scurrying as far away as I could. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm pitiful. We're not friends, I guess. Anyways, uh, I will see you all next time for whatever horrors 
come my way. Bye.